Hey, it's Mr. Bolden here. I bet you're trying to find out why it is that my camera is looking up to the sky. Well, I'm stretching, getting ready for my walk. But don't worry, everything that has to do with this walk is going to deal with this lesson. By the way, welcome back to Bolden Brass. Today, we're gonna to be learning about tempo. Now, I bet you're trying to find out what does tempo have to do with walking? Well, a lot actually. Let me explain. In layman's terms, tempo is normally the constant in music. It's the speed of music that never changes. We might call it the pace. You wanna know what else has tempo? How about your heartbeat? At a calm state, your heart tends to beat a little slower. As you start getting active, your heart will speed up. Me walking is also a certain type of tempo because there's a certain pace that I'm going during my warm up and my actual run. This leads to the next question at hand. Mr. Bolden, are there multiple types of tempos? I'm glad you asked. There are multiple types of tempo and they, just like the word tempo, are Italian. The types of tempos are Argo, which means slow, Andante, which is moderately slow, Moderato, which is what I'm doing right now, walking pace. You have Presto, which is what I'm gonna be doing when I start running. And for all my track runners out there, you have Molto Presto, very fast. When understanding tempo and making a determination on what the speed is, you always have to look at the BPMs. Now, what is BPMs? BPMs is short for beats per minute. A BPM can be as slow as one beat per minute and can go as fast as the ear can decipher it. When I get back to the lab, I'll show you all three. I've been waiting to try out this new software that I have. So Mr. Bolden, how do you stay on tempo? That's easy. There are multiple ways to stay on tempo. You can nod your head. You can tap your foot or you can use a metronome. What is a metronome? I'll show you when I get back. But as of right now, let me finish up my run. By the way, fun fact. Did you know that walking for 30 minutes a day will improve health? It gets the blood flowing. Some of the benefits of walking include, some of the benefits of walking are an increase in cardiovascular and pulmonary fitness. And some big old words. Layman's turns, it strengthens your heart and your lungs. It reduces heart disease and stroke. It builds strong bones. And for all you folks that wear those balance rings, it helps improve your balance. You build endurance, you build muscle, and finally, and most of all, it helps you to do what I'm doing. Lose weight. Back to my workout. Oh wow, my heart is beating at 108 BPMs. Come on back on, watch. <laughs> That's the equivalent tempo to moderata. All right, enough walking, time to run it on in. I got a mile to hit. It's about to be fun. So, I started running now. This will be a good example of what presto would be, like a running pace. My BPMs has even increased to 122. Well guys, i see you when I get back to the lab. I'm finished. I did my three miles in moderato and presto. Now my heart BPM when I was walking was 105. Look at it now. So that goes to show that music is intertwined with science. Music is universal, man. Let's go on ahead and get back to the lab, you guys. Now we're back in my garage, but I'm gonna call it my lab. Remember when I told you I was gonna show you what a metronome looked like? Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. This is a metronome. It's called a DB90. It can keep a constant pace. It can play different patterns and you can slow it down and speed it up. Now there are other things you can do with this metronome, but we're gonna stick to the tempo part. So I'm gonna power it on, and you can already see that it's at 118 BPMs. Now as you can hear, the tempo is going at a steady pace. We can say that it's at like moderato. You know the tempo is steady because of the little dial that's going right to left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And lastly, the click on the metronome never changes. What happens if I turn this dial to the left? See the pace changing? The dial is slowing down, as well as the clicks. Let's speed it up some. Uh-oh, turn it off. And it keeps on stopping. And we're speeding it up, there we go. 
Now it may look like it's at one whatever that is, but it's actually at 130. Let's speed it up some more. We're now at 145. Now let's speed it up one more. And let's go to 155. That's my that was my heartbeat. Here's a recap of today's lesson. Tempo is an Italian word that deals with speed. There are many different types of tempo words that are also Italian. The ones we work with today were largo, moderato, and presto. Slow, walking, and fast. I also promised you guys I was gonna play something for you. So as I play my way out of here, you guys don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you enjoyed this video. Till we see each other next time, peace and much love to you.